Mr. Bailey, you seem really committed and in love. Why don't you tell her what it is you feel, what it is you're willing to do, and what it is you want to save this marriage? I do love you, Ashley. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll stop talking to any woman you want me to, if you want me to. I will. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Most women can't resist a man in uniform, and neither could Ashley, whose heart was claimed as soon as she and Raymond met. But now, after five years of marriage, she thinks saying I do was the biggest mistake of her life. I'm here today because I'm not in love with my husband. It's over, it's done. I'm here to prove that I really do love my wife and that I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get her back. Though Raymond wants to save their marriage, Ashley says she's through. But can Judge Lynn sort out their difficulties and lead them to a fresh start? Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Ashley Bailey and Raymond Bailey. Mr. and Mrs. Bailey, you have been married for five years. You do not want to be married anymore. Mrs. Bailey, you have brought Mr. Bailey here seeking $500 for money that you claim he stole from your mother's credit card and refuses to pay back, okay? It, have I got that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Bailey, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your five-year marriage and why you would like to end it today? Judge, I'm just, I'm done. I'm tired. I should have never married him in the first place. I mean, he watches porn. He knows it bothers me. Uh -huh. I mean, he's a youth pastor at our church. Why is he watching porn on the TV? Now, Mr. Bailey, you watching a lot of porn? No, I'm not, Judge. Have I've you walked seen in him? On him? Yeah, I walked in on him and he turns it off because he knows that it bothers me. I mean, he's even tried to get me to watch it with him. Have you tried to get her to watch it with you? No, ma'am. You, you don't have to... any issues with the porn thing. No, You're not doing no, it? No, no, Your Honor. Okay. You also say that one of your main concerns is Mr. Mr. Bailey's hygiene. Why don't you explain that to me? I've had so many fights with him about his hygiene. I mean, he's in the military. He should know how to take a shower. I mean, mm. come on now. And, like, I don't want to have sex with him because of his hygiene. He's even lost a job over his hygiene. I mean, mm. I would beg him. How did that happen? Because they, one of, he works security, and the client was like, didn't want him on the side anymore, so he lost his job because the client complained about him smelling. Okay. Now, first of all, Mr. Bailey, I want to say mad props to you because you're in the military. Just because you didn't have to go, there's no draft, but you showed up to help me out, and I appreciate it. Just me to you on a personal level. I don't care what's going on in your house. I respect that you volunteered to do that. I, I want to say that. And I haven't said that. You are you taking showers? Yes, I am, Your Honor. OK. <laughs> did, did a client ever ask that you no longer be security for him because of a lack of hygiene? No, no, ma'am. OK. Uh, Mrs. Bailey, I'd like you to, to introduce you to Raymond Bailey. Raymond Bailey, this is Ashley Bailey. It appears that you two have not been living in the same house. Can you at least admit to some sense that she's had a problem in those areas, even though you don't believe you have a problem in those areas? I could, I, I'll admit, I can take a few more showers. I'll admit that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I could take a few more showers. Okay. But you really love her. Yes, I do, Judge. And you don't want to leave. I mean, you've already separated, but you want to keep her. Yes, sir. What Your do Honor. you think her main complaint about you really is? She always accuses me of cheating. No matter what happens, I'm a cheater, no matter what I do. Mrs. Bailey, do you believe he's cheating? I know he's cheating. I mean, <laughs> Tell they me have, why you know. I have had a friend from our church come up to me and tell me that he was sending inappropriate text message to her, that he wants to have sex with her whenever. And then there's my friend from middle school. 
She, she would never try and hurt me uh -huh. the way he's hurt me. But she said that he was, she was sending her a text message saying that she was pretty and that she was smart and that if he wasn't with me, that he would be getting with her. Mr. Bailey, did any of those things occur? I can tell you every instance that she's talking about and I can explain every one of them, Judge. Okay, let's start with, <laughs> well, that's good. Now let's start with the, the friend at church that you were sending inappropriate messages to. I'm a licensed minister, Judge. Okay. And she asked me to do the wedding for him. I said, if you do, you have to go through counseling. I prefer not to do it myself. I would prefer someone else to do it. But if you need me to, I will. Mm-hmm. And I asked her a simple question. If someone, a friend of yours, comes up and says, I want to have sex with you, I'm not saying me. That's my exact words to the... Mm -hmm. to the it's a hypothetical. Yes. And I even told her that. <laughs> and the next incident with the, her friend, yeah. her friend called to talk to her about a problem she was having. At the time, we only had one telephone. So right. I said, is there anything I can do to help? Because I am a licensed minister. I wanted to help. She said she, she felt guys didn't want to be with her. And I told her, if I wasn't married, because I happily love Ashley. If I wasn't married, I, I would date you. That's exactly what I said to her. If she took it out of context, that's not my fault. Now, 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 Mr. Bailey, licensed minister or no, one ought to take a few courses about how one conducts counseling. Because just because, and, and, and I'm not questioning your relationship your, with God or your commitment, some people just don't express themselves well. Some people don't have a good sense of what other people are asking them, and the stuff that you do in, in, in counseling, it, it's a little off. Mm -hmm. I agree. You, you with I agree, me? You. I agree, Judge. And, and, and I think that before you do any more counseling, you need to get counseled <laughs> about, <laughs> about how to do it well, especially when you're speaking with women. That, I, would, be my, that, that would be my suggestion. I agree, Judge, and okay. I, I'm willing to do that. That, that would be my suggestion. When Divorce Court continues... You want children, and Mrs. Bailey does not. Is that accurate? I want children, I just don't want them with him. Is your spouse ready to walk out the door, but you want to try and save your marriage? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Ashley Bailey, who says Raymond's poor hygiene is just one of the reasons their marriage has gone sour. But what other things are wrong with Raymond? He can't keep a job. I see, that would have been the first thing out of my mouth. Mr. Bailey, I understand. You, you, you say you're very much in love with her. And I, I did read your papers, and you told me that you, in fact, proposed to her on your very first date. Is that right? Yes, I did. Okay, tell me about that. What does, what, what came across to you in the, that small period of time that made you believe she's the woman you wanted to spend the rest of your life with? The way she made me feel, Judge. I don't know what it was. There was something about it that made me feel great. Uh-huh. And I just, it's how I felt. How long did you two date before you married? Not long, Judge. Give, give me an estimate. We actually met three months before I went to Iraq. And when I got home on leave from Iraq, which was about six months later, uh -huh. we got married. Right. Now, Mrs. Bailey, let me ask you, what were you thinking? Not that he's a bad guy, but you meet a guy, first days he asks you to marry, he goes off, does a great thing, comes back, and you marry him. Did you really think you had enough information to make that kind of decision? Judge, no, no, ma'am, I did not. I'm, I was just turned 19, just out of high school. Yeah. I, you know, swept off my feet. You know, he's a good looking guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the, he wears the uniform really well, mm -hmm. but I mean, <laughs> I'm just. Looking back on it now, do heels. you think you just simply said I do without sufficient information? Uh, looking back on it now, I never should have married him. Okay. He says he's a, uh, uh, you're, missing, uh, you're misunderstanding him. You're misinterpreting what he's doing all of the time. Uh, is there anything beyond the porn and the hygiene that, that, that makes you believe he was not the right guy to marry? He can't keep a job. I mean, and 
I see that would have been the first thing kids. out of my mouth. But anyway, <laughs> uh, he can't keep a job. How is that? I mean, he's in he's uh, in the National Guard. Yes, Your Honor. So that's that's a job. Well, that's only because if he can't lose that one. If he does, he goes to jail. I mean. He, <laughs> but, 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 but he made a commitment and he's keeping it and he gets paid for it, correct? Yeah. What else do you expect him to do? Um, but that's not all the time. That's only a weekend out of the month. Okay. And, and the rest of the month, what does he do? He doesn't take showers. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he she's just... really upset about the funk. That's what she's telling me. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it like that? I... To be honest, Judge, I don't think it is, but... And there was one I... more issue of, of, of some gravity about which we speak. It's that you want children and Mrs. Bailey does not. Is that accurate? I want children. I just don't want them with him. And why not with him? The reason being is I don't... He has a medical issue in uh -huh. his family. I mean, and so I'm like really it's a scared. genetic or a hereditary yes. issue? Yes. And you don't want to... I uh, don't want my children to have that right. issue. And I didn't know about the issue because he's adopted. Uh -huh. And I didn't know about the issue until later. Are you quite sure that whatever this is is hereditary? I mean, some things are hereditary and some things are just happenstance. Yes, You it know is. it's hereditary. Yes. Okay. And Mr. Bailey, what is your response to her concern that she doesn't want to pass along whatever hereditary issue your family member had? I believe when you love somebody, Judge, no matter what your kids have, you should always love them no matter what they have. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. When Divorce Court continues, can Raymond convince Ashley to come back home? I do love you, Ashley. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll stop talking to any woman you want me to, if you want me to. I will. I've heard it all before. We've had this conversation. Is there anything he can do to get you back? If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Raymond Bailey, who says he will do anything to save his marriage. But is he really trying his best to rekindle the love he and Ashley once shared? Mrs. Bailey, you also say that he is best friends with one of his exes, and it causes you concern. Yeah, because whenever we have a fight, he would call her. And it's not his best friend, it's his ex-girlfriend. His ex-girlfriend. Yes. Do you have an ex-girlfriend that you call about the problems that you have with your wife? Yeah, Every fight. I, yes, I do, Judge, because she knows me. She's, she, we, my, me and that girl broke up because of our friendship. Because we felt like... Our friendship was breaking us apart in the first place. So, yes, I call her. She lives in Ohio. I call her because I actually lost her because I also lost my friend because of her. Because I told her I could not talk to her anymore because it was hurting her. Mr. Bailey, you seem really committed and in love. Why don't you tell her what it is you feel, what it is you're willing to do, and what it is you want to save this marriage? No. I do love you, Ashley. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll stop talking to any woman you want me to, if you want me to. I will. I've heard it all before. We've had this conversation. Well? And you still keep talking to her. You still keep talking to other women. Actually, I quit talking to her because if you didn't know I told the judge. I quit talking You've to her. You've told me you... that thousands of times. All the time. I'm... We've had these fights over and over again. And they're same promises. They're kind of empty now. Okay. You know, I, I love her, Judge. I really do. And I'm going to do whatever it takes right. for this. Right. You know, I'll, the trust and communication is the thing. But you got, and I believe in a marriage, you got to learn to trust and communicate. And she would never take the opportunity to trust me or communicate with me in order to show her, so I can show her how much I love her. Is there anything he can do to get you back? No. What if I got him to take a shower every day? <laughs> Would that help? <laughs> no, ma'am. It's you know more than, than just him not taking a shower. I'm not that shallow. You know, Judge, I even told him I'm going to start trying to date again to see if we can get to really know each other. Jealous. But she... You open to that? No, ma'am. Okay. 
I got it. When divorce court continues, should Raymond have to pay back the money? My mother gave us the credit card. We were really short on money to go buy gas. He found it and went buying food. Wound up being over $500. Divorce Court returns with the case of Ashley and Raymond Bailey, who have been separated for eight months and are seeking a divorce after five years of marriage. Mrs. Bailey, why don't you tell me about the $500 that you're asking from him uh, with respect to the money owed on your mother's credit card? He took my mother's credit card. Well, my mother gave us the credit card. We were really short on money to go buy gas, you know, $40, and then I was supposed to give it back to her. Well, I, she was in the hospital with, well, my stepfather was in the hospital, so she was with him, so, and I just forgot to give it back to her and I left it in my car. He found it and went buying food at his job, like $40 here and $50 there, and it wound up being over $500. Okay. He went, and my mother is asking for the $500 from me because we were married at the time, so. And, uh, Mr. Bailey, what, what, do, what would you like to say in response to that? We, we, we also didn't have food because her mom was in the hospital with her stepdad, so we didn't, she hadn't gone grocery shopping. So she would ask me, she would tell me, go ahead and take mom's car, get you something to eat, and, and that will be okay. No, she would I did tell not. me that, Judge. Mm -hmm. No, I did not. Okay. All right, okay. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bailey, I don't know what happened in your marriage. I don't think you know what happened in your marriage. <laughs> I think the two of you were, you know, he was about to go off to war. You were, you were young and 19, and it seemed neat at the time. I mean, I'm sure that there are a lot of guys and women out there that are great on a date or two. It's a, I make a great first impression, but I'm really hard to live with. So, you know, marriage is about a lot of investigation and, 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 and talking and wondering. You have to see themselves in the good times and the bad times. You can't just do whatever. Uh, you were young and you were 19, so you get a pass on that. But you know better now, right? Yes, ma'am. And you know you got to learn people, not just feel people. You got to learn them before you marry them. Mr. Bailey, I think you're a little bit suspect. I think you just, you have difficulty communicating, but I think you do some wrong stuff. <laughs> and I think that, that you, you claim inability to communicate. You claim, I didn't really mean it, but I think you do some wrong stuff. And I think that you, you're cute and you're sweet and you want to get away with it from that. I honestly believe you love this woman, but I don't think you have your own personal self together enough to provide her what she needs in a husband, which is a guy who has a command over what he does, what he says, how he feels, and how he behaves. Once you get that, you can get a woman and keep her. So having said that, I will say this. Here's the legal issue. Uh, I don't have any evidence of how much money was spent on the credit card, but at this point, it is irrelevant. Your mother has a suit against Mr. Bailey for misusing her card. You do not. Whether or not you want to pay back your mother out of your own money, that's a moral issue and a family issue that you deal with. But you have no legal right to represent her on her behalf to get something that he misappropriated from her. So she can sue him, you can't. Good luck to both of you. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. You know, I realize that a lot of people in my courtroom have problems not because they made the wrong decision, but they failed to make any decision at all. They didn't decide when to have children. They didn't decide if they wanted children. They didn't decide who to have them with. They didn't decide their financial decisions. What happens was life just happened to them, and they were reacting what was going on around them, and they never had an opportunity to make a decision. So if you want to have less trouble in your life, decide to decide.